Tonight at 6, a winter storm continues rolling through our area as we come on the air right now. Snow and rain coming down, which is causing roads to be dangerous. As you can see right now, Lucas Wood, Sandusky, and Huron counties are under a level 1 snow emergency. Williams County is under a level 2. And yeah, let's take a live look right here at Defender and proof in the pudding what you're seeing on the windshield right there as the wipers go back and forth. It is wet out there right now. We're not seeing those fat, thick snowflakes we saw earlier. Tatiana Cash is rolling in Defender. We've got a lot of crashes and backups that we're seeing on the maps online. We'll check those in just a few minutes. Thanks for joining us right now on this alert day. I'm Melissa Andrews and I'm Jeff Smith. Speaking of fat snowflakes, you see them right behind us. We've been dealing with rain, snow, and then we're expecting wind. Yeah, Northwest Ohio, Southeast Michigan seeing all of this. The first real winter storm of this season and the WTOL 11 weather team has been keeping a close eye on this storm all week. Yeah, tonight they join us for team coverage. Chief Meteorologist Chris Vickers and John Birchfield both joining us right here right now. So Chris, snow is hitting parts of the area. Rain is now beginning to take over in others. Yeah, heaviest snow still west and north of Toledo, but it's making that transition to more rain and slushy accumulations. It still is going to be slippery on the roads, but this is eventually going to make a transition to a bigger wind event that will occur tonight, followed by bitterly cold weather and some blowing snow into tomorrow. Could get some wind gusts that push towards 60 miles per hour. Now, here's where that transition is occurring and getting more rain mixing in here in the Toledo metro, especially south of Toledo. This is all rain, still snow back over toward Williams, Fulton County, up into parts of southern Michigan and here in the Toledo metro, making that 50 50 transition from some wet snowflakes over to all raindrops. Many of our roadways are wet. We're looking toward Airport Highway 475. We're going to zip up a little bit closer to Sylvania uh, 475 just past Central Avenue. A lot of our roadways are going to be slushy and sloppy over the next hour. Most spots are right around the freezing mark, if not just above it. We make that transition over the next couple of hours to all rain. It is going to be brief because colder air is going to slam the area tonight, and that will come with high winds and strong winds that will develop up tonight and into tomorrow. Now all totaled what we have on the ground and what's still to come a couple more inches west of Toledo up into southern Michigan, and I do expect that hour by hour forecast will show more snow chances around an inch going to be expected as we go into Saturday, but it's the high winds that will be the big focus tonight and some of that blowing snow tomorrow. Let's get over to meteorologist John Birchfield. John, we may be talking those winds really whipping the snow around tonight into tomorrow. Afternoon, really just part one of our winter storm system as we continue to monitor the changes this dynamic low pressure system will bring. That is going to change over from snow to rain this evening, but we're not out of the woods with the snow just yet. Snow showers will blow around in the wind tomorrow, reducing visibility and causing slow travel. The winds are going to intensify and may gust up to 60 miles an hour. And on the back side of this system, wow, what an abrupt change in the weather as we get a taste of winter cold. Temperatures surge to the negatives into next week. So where will the strongest winds occur? Well, there's no avoiding them, but generally south and east of the Maumee River, that is where 60 mile an hour gusts will be possible. And further to the north and west, winds will still be in the ballpark of 50 to 55. Once you start getting into that territory, power outages will be a concern, and we already do have some, especially in Sandusky County, where there's a higher percentage of the county and about 0.2% of Lucas County currently without power. Additionally, blowing snow, that will be a concern as we look towards the remainder of your weekend forecast. Our Hour by hour pinpoints those winds cranking up overnight and the winds will shift to the west southwest and that is where they may gust 50 to even 60 miles an hour. Certainly going to be a blustery day tomorrow, Chris. And even though the snow is going to be rather light, any snow that does fall, it is going to be blowing sideways, not horizontally. You know, I am concerned about that, John. Safe to say the travel going to be slippery and icy through the entire weekend, right? Yeah, and especially with temperatures dropping, we'll have to keep an eye on refreezing, especially on those bridges and overpasses and the on and off ramps on the interstates. And John, these winds to 60 miles per hour, the concern over power outages. That's one thing if it's, you know, June, July or August, but yeah. here in the middle of winter with the cold that's coming, that's another concern. Yeah, better to plan ahead of time and just um, hope for the best by charging those electronic devices and making sure you have several layers, uh, perhaps a flashlight as well. Good ways to prepare for those outages. Very good advice. Meteorologist John Birchfield, appreciate that update. We're carrying that alert day through tonight into tomorrow. We first told you about this last weekend and it is delivering on this winter one two punch into this upcoming weekend for your Sunday snow shower much colder and look at this as we go to the end of the weekend and early next week we bottom out those are daytime highs that are going to be in the lower teens more on your 10 day forecast on the cold that will follow 
that coming up. Jeff, back over to you. All right, Chris, we promised we wanted to take a look at the roads. And folks, I want to draw your attention to two major problem areas right now. The first one, I-75 southbound near Alexis Road, that exit up by the state line. And there is a crash there. The roadway is restricted. You're going to have slow go through there. Also, US-24 right there at the junction with 475. We are seeing, according to the Ohio Department of Transportation, what they are calling tonight a dangerous slowdown. In fact, traffic down into the 30 mile an hour range. So please do heed with caution. And you also see the crash on 795 that in Perrysburg Township. We're going to keep an eye out for all of these things and keep you posted with the very latest. Let's check in with Tatiana Cash, who joins us live from inside Defender. Tatiana, kind of give us an update on where you are and are the conditions changing as you and Cheyenne drive through it? Yes, Jeff, that's the interesting thing. Of course, you know, as weather is talking about chief meteorologist uh, Chris Vickers, as well as John Birchfield have been saying, you know, from slick, slippery, from the big snowflakes down to these wet conditions. We are currently here on Central, just past uh, through the intersection of Central and Detroit, and it is wet out on those roadways. The good news is that I'm noticing we haven't seen as many crashes out here when it comes to more of the uh, major roadways. Uh, the interstate we did see as we traveled up here from Ohio into Michigan on Highway 125 South Dixie Highway next to the major highway of Telegraph. We saw a couple of cars who were in ditches, so it is slippery enough that you could slide into something. We saw unfortunately a couple minor fender benders around the area where you see cars slid directly into each other. So you want to give yourself that extra space. As you can see, photojournalist Cheyenne Katsura is giving herself extra space between her and other vehicles because it is wet out on these roads. Roadways. So it's not an easy stop and go situation. You definitely want to give yourself extra time out here if you have to go somewhere, whether it be to the store, because you absolutely have to. My suggestion, though, of course, when it comes to these wet roadways and the fact that you could hydroplane, you could fishtail, there are those options. You want to give yourself extra time, extra space, or honestly, maybe pick another time to travel because these are not ideal conditions. Of course, we're going to continue out here on the roadways to check where exactly things are at their worst. But the good news is folks are being smart and safe and giving extra distance, extra space and slowing down. So here in Defender, Tatiana Cash, WTOL 11. As we continue tracking today's alert day and tomorrow's as well, stay in the know with the WTOL 11 weather app. You can also get traffic and see any crashes there. It's a quick download to your smartphone. Our weather team will keep you in the know, sending those latest updates right to you.